Hello, I'm Matty P uh, from SCMC Gaming, and today you join me on Delta Quadrant with Reaper, the red Protoss in the bottom right position, and Stat X, the blue Protoss in the top right position. I quite like this map because it's uh, got a nice expansion here, nice natural, and then um, also it's it's got like the gold in between. The uh, the bases and uh, it's like you can go down here, round and up here and just totally dodge the Zelnaga. But also the Zelnaga's got the smoke around it, so it's a quite good, uh, quite good coverage. By the looks of it, uh, Reaper's in uh, placement and Stat is in uh, silver. From just reading the chat, I get the uh, production tab up. Looks like uh, Reaper went a nine nine pylon, and Stat doesn't seem to be. I know. Oh no, he already has his pylon, sorry. Must have, must have had it uh, early 9 or maybe 8. Stats claiming that he played a diamond and plat, so probably going to be promoted to um, gold or maybe even platinum then, soon. Uh, Stat building his gateway at uh, 13 and Reaper doing exactly the same. No one's uh, scouted as yet. I expect, since it's quite a short game, it's 13 minutes, uh, I don't really expect a fast expand. Uh, probably a double four gate or one of them might go where we play. <laughs> Start doing a bit of reverse psychology there, saying that he's uh, bad and he's it, it, probably going to lose, even though, well both of them did to be honest. Both of them said they were going to lose, but obviously they think they're going to win, otherwise they wouldn't be playing, would they really? So, uh, Stack dropping his forge, maybe he's... Actually, it would be it would be nice going for that fast expand here because he could just if he forges this the ramp, then he can't get to his natural unless they do some uh, water prison play up here or Colossus. But I highly doubt he'd get Colossus just to take out uh, an expansion. Reaper going for the scout and going to scout stats base lasts, which is a bonus for stat because he can uh, kind of like hide his forge and how late his cyber next car is. Well, no, it's not late. Why? I don't understand why Reaper's Zabnex car is so late, seeing as in the time Reaper's building his Zabnex car, Stat's got the same amount of gateways and a forge. I just don't understand. Reaper's got two pylons, one building. Stat's got two pylons and then two fountain cannons building. That's quite strange. If we have a look at the units, though. No, Reaper's only one, one probe ahead, and he does have a Z-lot, but I don't want to change anything early game. Go back to the production jab. Uh, Reaper has scouted his base and his probe does get taken out by his uh, forge fast expand cannons at the front. And But Stat still does not know where he is. Looks like he's going. Put some coverage here, maybe going to expand in a, a, a bit, but we need, we need to take them rocks out. Uh, let's go back to everyone. So uh, Stat getting his second assimilator. Reaper still only on one. Reaper's choosing to chrono his sentry out instead of his warp gate, which is quite strange. Seeing as there's no, there's n Reaper knows there's not going to be any aggression because he's going forge fast expand. So why would you chrono a sentry out? Because you only chrono a sentry out if something was coming for you, so you could block off your ramp, give you a bit more time. But well, anyway, uh, his third gateway is down. Building pile on there, probably for some just sight. And uh, start going for Twilight Council. Very early Twilight Council. Zealot, yep, yeah, Zealot and the Stalker is being a uh, waypoint to take out their rocks for the Fastic Fan, so I'll, I was right in the end. Go, is he going? He's either going DT play, could get, be going high tempo, I guess, or uh, probably uh, Charge Lots or Blink Stalkers. Chrono in his warp gate, and his warp gate is finished. Now I'm off in the warp gate. Uh, Reaper's walk gate surprisingly not that far behind. Bear in mind how much difference it was. Uh, Reaper going for the fast expand because he uh, must have known Stat was going for it with the because he had the uh, forge and the cannons already up. Stat slowly grinding that away. Reaper grinding a bit more because he's got more units. But Stat now has a warp gate, so I guess he could warp in more units to help. Reaper is supply supply box at the minute. He is he has placed another pile on to cope with that. Reaper's oh, he's placed two actually. Sorry. Reaper's triple warp gate is now done. Yeah, there we go. Stats Dark Shrine. 
There, Fountain can land Dark Shrine. Try and protect the Dark Shrine. If I was him though, I, I probably would have put the Dark Shrine more over like here. Or, or even like down there. To try and hide it from the scout. But I guess if uh, Reaper goes Observer, there's not much point trying to hide it. But that's probably what that's there for, to try to kill it before it scouts. But unless the Observer comes from this side, it will still be scouted. It will probably still be scouted if it did from, come from that side anyway. It wouldn't really make a difference to be honest. The rocks are now down for Reaper and Stat. Reaper's going to get his expansion down before Stat, surprisingly. Yep, there, there's the Blink Stalkers. And the DT play. Quite heavy, quite heavy gas play. He has a few too many probes on there, so I'm guessing he's going to do a probe transfer once his uh, Nexus is down. Also getting uh, level 1 weapons from there. Reaper, surprisingly, trying to bring a probe in for scouting. Even though he, knew, he knows them cannons are there. Stats still has not scouted. He does not know what Reaper's doing. Doesn't know where he is. Knows nothing. Uh, Reaper knows he's there. Probably expanding, but he doesn't know for sure the expansion's there. So both players don't know they're expanding, but Reaper has more information at this point. We need to be careful of them DTs. Them DTs can be uh, quite devastating, especially with the um, one weapon upgrade. Which would be... Oh, he has a robot. Always oh, go for warp. Warp Prism Drop, maybe? Well, no, yeah, yeah, he is. He must be going for Warp Prism Drop. There's nothing else he could do with Warp Prisms, really. I'm surprised he didn't get an uh, Observer out straight away. I don't think... He, no, he doesn't have an Observer. There's uh, two that Templars built by... There, uh, he's going for the Scout. <laughs> Surprisingly, he sends two out, both to the wrong base. Reaper's expansion is down, but nothing's happening with it. He does have too many probes here. Well, too many probes there. He should do a transfer. Stat has already transferred, I'm guessing. Yep, he has transferred. And so he's, he's well ahead of uh, Reaper at the minute. Reaper's Warp Prism is coming in with four Zealots. Will do quite hefty damage to that natural if he he does... Yep, he, he, just, he just got my pylons. We should, yep, he should go in now. Yep, there we go. Drop the uh, four Zealots in and then warp in an extra four with his Warp Gates. There we go. Oh, he got he went for stalkers. Stat does have a cannon, but that's not going to be. Well, he has two, but maybe going to take out a couple of zealots. But against three, three stalkers and uh, four zealots, it's not really going to kill everything. But uh, stats reinforcements, and there's the uh, that templars. That templars hiding in between the uh, zealots, so he doesn't actually notice them that well. He does manage to uh, take the three stalkers and get out of there, which is is good play. Stat now knows he's here because he's scouted both of the bases. So he, he has to be here. Reaper has no forms of detection. He's got immortals. He's got his fourth gate down now. Nice nice symmetry there. But he has no no forms of detection. If you go on units, no observers on either side. Don't know what I pressed there, but anyway. Um Reaper now is saturating, that is, that natural looks, it's nearly fully saturated, but he's getting his double gas. Reaper, uh, stat does not have his gas yet, and he is going for some Feral Cannons, which he should do, to uh, try, he should place them here, and here, a bit further down, to try and shoot the uh, water prison down, before it has a chance to do anything. Stat looking for the third, notices there is no third by Reaper, goes up with his uh, Dark Templars, which goes past the army. It's going to do massive economical damage. Still is. It goes straight for the robotics facility to stop any detection being trained. Uh, the, he does. He does have a forge. He does. He does see the Dark Templars and places cannons. But that that robotics base already down. Re, re, stat needs to go for the cannons. He needs to take out that cannon and then take out the forge. I don't understand why Reaper's keeping all this stuff here. He's just dying. He should. Reaper should move all this stuff. Micro it around over here, keep him busy, then get the cannon up, and then kill them all. But he's going to lose all his units by the time the cannon's up, and one cannon's not going to kill. Re Re Reaper did have an observer, but he was in stat space by the time he got back. Stat it just. I don't. Started doing quite a lot of damage, so he just didn't have any army to take out the DTs. So Reaper just GG'd. Anyway, this was Matty from SCMC Gaming. Rate, comment, subscribe.